Yes, hello guys, uh, it's been a while. I just wanted to update you on uh, what I'm doing right now. And uh, then we're going to go through, uh, a lot of you have been asking for the Norwegian gun laws um, and how to like be able to get a gun and buy a gun in Norway. So I'll be going through that quickly. Um, so right now I'm, uh, I quit my job in the army to start or to get an education. So currently I'm in school to be an electrician. It's just one year in school and then I have to work for uh, four and a half year as an apprentice before I uh, can be an actual electrician. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'll be done in June and then I can start working. And um, well, I've moved to south of Norway or I don't live in the north of Norway anymore. Um, so I think that's very nice to move back closer to home. And um, I guess that's it. We'll be going over to the gun laws and uh, I'll just, I'll warn you, I don't know the laws like in and out, I don't know everything, I don't know the details, but this is my, uh, how I understand these laws. <clears throat> so how to get a hunting rifle in Norway, uh, you have to take a course to be a hunter, a hunter's course. Uh, which you can do over a couple of weekends or for me I took a whole week and then at the end there's a test and you have to pass the test to have passed the course and to be able to apply for a hunting rifle for, at the police. And when you've passed the test, you, uh, it gets registered and then you can apply for the hunting rifle you want and you can buy up till eight hunting rifles i think uh when you've done that that and before you hunt as you've seen some on some of my previous videos you have to do a shooting test before every hunting season uh where you have to first do 30 practice shots or rounds uh which has to be uh, registered and then you do five like test the actual test is five rounds uh, which has to be inside of a circle it's quite big circle uh, and it's 100 meters I think uh, and you can't look at the screen or where you hit each shot you have to wait until You've taken all the five shots before you can see if you passed the test or not. And you can take however long time you need. There's no time limit. And you have to do that before every or before you can go hunting. And you have to get those uh, shots reg registered. And it's all in an app on your phone now. So it's pretty easy. So that's basically how you get to buy a hunting rifle in Norway. Uh, if you don't want to hunt, but you want to shoot, you can also, uh, like I did, to shoot with a pistol or a handgun. You, uh, it's more like a competition shooting or just practice shooting at the range. Uh, you have different uh, types of shooting. You have IPSC. Uh, which I do and you have long range shooting you have clay pigeon shooting you have uh, cowboy shooting I don't know what these things are I haven't read much about them and I don't think I'm gonna but I can say what I had to do to get my uh, pistol and to do that I had to you have to take a safety course which was a weekend I think 
uh, just the weekend and then it's just uh, yeah, a safety course and then the course ends with a competition or a match, a shooting match where you have to not uh, not be disqualified in the match to pass the course. If you finish the course or the match without being disqualified, you pass the course, the safety course. And then you can apply for a gun. Or, and you have to become a member of a shooting club. Uh, wherever you live or yeah, different shooting clubs. And um, then you yeah, have to send an application for buying a gun to the police. And it has to be approved and then you can buy I don't know how many guns, but I think you can have at least one gun for each uh, class. You know, you have uh, classical, open, um, I don't remember the different, but you have different, you can have uh, one gun each class and I think it's five different like classes. Uh, so you can basically have five guns. And you can also, it doesn't have to be just pistol, it can be a mini rifle, mini rifle. I don't do that yet. And uh, to keep the gun, you have to prove uh, that you are an active member. You have to be an active member of a shooting club. You can't just keep the gun and never go to the range. I don't remember how many times you have to be to the range on the range each year but it's a couple of times and you have to like uh, register that you've been to the range so you can't be like a passive member and just have the gun you have to prove that you are an active member and actively shooting you don't have to go to competitions you that's not a like they don't you don't have to do that but you have to go to the range and a certain amount of times and do a certain amount of rounds. I don't know how many. So this is just briefly how I know the laws and how I did it. My dad helped me a lot, uh, but I will put a link below where you can read more uh, about the Norwegian gun laws if you're interested. And if this was enough, then uh, I'm glad. Uh, I will hopefully be doing more videos uh, this year with a traditional bow, bow and arrow. I will try my dad's. So hopefully there will be more videos, maybe some shorts on YouTube, you know, shorts video videos. Um, so hopefully there will be more. Okay, hope you guys are well and I'll see you soon.